Hi everyone, this is Kamel. Welcome back to Video Product Official Channels. In this series, we are gonna show you how to create something really amazing and pro looking effects based on the skills that you've learned on the beginner tutorials. So it's all about fun creation and enhancing your editing chops. But before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. You probably watched opening scenes like this before. A cool intro can not just add a fun for your video, but also makes a strong impression with every audience. And creating this amazing opening scene does not involve any complications. Stick around, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this video in text movie title intro with video product flagger in easy steps. This effect is made of two parts, the title and the background. Firstly, let's create the title. After opening up Video Proc Flagger, use a text tool on the toolbar to add a new title clip. Enter the needed content on the inspector panel, adjust the size, font, and other parameters for the text and it's better to choose the font that appears in bold. Make the text color white. Then find the text shadow button and set the offset value to zero. Delete the shadow. Then let's click on the camera button on the top right corner to take a snapshot of the current frame. Add a saved snapshot to video product flagger. Drag it onto overlay track and adjust the size. Use the Ripple Edit tool to set the clip duration to 8 seconds. After that, hit Motion to enter the Motion Editor. Here we want to make the text gradually bigger and then fill the entire screen. So we need to use a Zoom In preset. Select a Zoom In. Video Proc Flagger will add a keyframe at the end frame of the video. Let's move this keyframe to 5 seconds. To better adjust the viewing box, we can come over to the button and choose this button to keep the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Then let's scale down the viewing box until the entire preview window shows white. Last, let's add a keyframe at the end of the timeline. That's all for making the title. Next, let's make the background. Based on the content of our video, we can add pictures or videos as a background. Here, let's add some landscape videos to Video Product Flagger. To focus on the background edits, we can click on the eyes icon here to make the footage on the overlay track invisible. Drag the new footage onto video track Adjust the length to keep its duration the same as the title clip on the overlay track. To give a three-dimensional feel to our video, we can add a zoom-in effect for the background. Enter the motion editor. Just like what we did before, use the zoom-in preset for the footage. Drag the second keyframe to the six-second position. Adjust the size of the viewing box. Then add a third keyframe at the end of the timeline for keeping showing the enlarged background. Then click on Apply. Okay, let's click on this button to enable the text on the overlay track. Then choose Darken as a blend mode under the Composite menu. That's all. Now, it looks like we are flying into the screen through the text. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about creating a somatic opening with motion editor in Video Product Flagger. I think I've got it. 
Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next video. Hope and enjoy. Bye.